Hey everybody, it's Millie with Crafting in My PJs. Welcome to my channel. Crafting in My PJs is a channel that is dedicated to simple, easy crafts, quick, easy crafts that anybody can do, no artistic talent required. So if you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning friend, welcome back. Now, I get most of my supplies from Dollar Tree. So I had planned on, at the beginning of every craft video, showing you my dynamic Dollar Tree discoveries. Because we are coming upon gift making season, so things that pop up at Dollar Tree that we might use for gifts in a couple of months won't be there in a couple of months. They may have been sold out. Dollar Tree stock varies greatly and it's in and it's out and it's gone. Well, I went, I went to just half the Dollar Trees today and I have too much stuff to put into the beginning of videos. So I decided I would go ahead and make a haul video. So this is the plan. Tuesday and Thursday is a craft video. If I have a separate haul video, it'll probably come out on Saturday. I will try to let you know as quickly as I can what is out there and what you possibly might be interested in. All right, so if you walk into Dollar Tree right now, the big thing is still Halloween. And they are still putting out more Halloween items. There's also fall because you had fall, then Halloween, and then Thanksgiving. So that fall is there, but they have tons of Halloween. And yes, there is some Christmas starting. I have seen some Christmas. So I'm going to show you, there might be a repeat here and there, but I am going to show you some of the great Halloween items and fall items and gift giving items that I have compiled from my shopping trip yesterday and today. So the first thing that this you've seen before are gift bags, Halloween themed gift bags. I already showed you these. My, they, they're different patterns in each three packet. A three pack is $1.25. And these are going to be for the grandchildren and gift bags. I'm trying to stay away from candy and I'm trying to give them goodies. Consumable goodies that will probably be used up, but goodies nonetheless. Well, while I was out, I happened to find these and I hadn't seen this style before. And there is uh, three different faces. And I went ahead and I purchased these because we're gonna make a craft next week using these bags. So I think it'll be fun, it'll be easy, and I, I, hopefully you will like it. All right, so in one of my other videos, well, in maybe two other videos, I talked about this flavored popcorn that's out there. It's by K Sweet Chaos, it's called. And I have been getting the candy corn popcorn. And I did mention in my video that was one other flavor, but I couldn't remember what it was because it wasn't something that appealed to me. And so I didn't purchase it. Well, I did purchase one for you to show you. It's pumpkin spice. I don't like pumpkin. I don't like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkin flavoring. I am a Starbucks girl and I go to other places too but I do not get pumpkin anything. But I do have a daughter-in-law that loves pumpkin, so I know this is not wasted. It will be a nice little treat to give to her. And so I could show to you the other popcorn. Now, if you've tried this pumpkin spice popcorn, could you let me know how is it? Did you like it? The candy corn was out of this world, so I can only imagine what the pumpkin spice is. Of course, can't go to Dollar Tree in any kind of aisle without getting some Halloween stickers. These are slated for 
Halloween junk journals I'm working on right now, and I am so excited to be able to use them. So some stickers. This was another thing I purchased at Dollar Tree. Um, this was probably maybe a couple of days ago. Let me pull you back. It wasn't today. And it was on the $3 aisle. And it's a Halloween plush bag. It's 16 by 12. It does have a handle. There's a cat. There was also one, I think, for potions. They're very soft. Uh, I have plans for these, and it's not to use to carry candy around. So that will be part of our Halloween decorations, that video that we do next week, that will also involve these. So these items will be in that video. So, um, but what a nice bag. I think it's awesome. One of the things that I, oops, sorry, that I got that I purchased for fall were these paper plate, plate craft kits. And I think I showed you the Boo one. These are great. Nice, big pieces to punch out. Um, they seem to glue really well. I use that purple Elmer's stick glue. The kids that I work with and my grandkids are having no trouble getting things to stick down and they're really enjoying them. It's it's great. And if you're sitting playing with your children while they're doing something like this, it's a great language activity. It's a great way to get some, some words out. You can talk about a cat and you can talk about girl and you can talk about pumpkin and bat and lights and broom and what is she doing and where is she going and what is she carrying etc cetera, etc cetera. what is she sitting on so lots of language and you know i am a speech therapist so that is part of my daily life and so lots of language with these now i only purchased except for this one i only purchased one of each pack there's six in a pack because I'm not sure I have to clear with my families which ones celebrate Halloween and which ones do not. So, um, so far I haven't had anybody who does not celebrate Halloween, but um, there's also not enough weeks to really do all of these projects. So I think I'm good with only one pack, one pack. All right, in the same line of crafts, I also purchased one, oh, a couple, but I left the other one down there on the floor. Um, I, a couple of different foam craft kits. They have these in both Halloween and fall themes. I tried to pick one where the pieces are larger. I purchased the felt, foam, felt kit and the scarecrows, and those pieces are teeny tiny. My grands and my therapy kids could not handle that. But this is something they probably could. You usually do need to add glue. I don't think it's stickered. Oh, it does say glue not included. So yes, you are gonna need glue. I do like because they are individually wrapped. So these are literally gonna go in the individual gift bags for the grandbabies. So um, I have this and I had another, I can't remember what it is, it's down there. And I think I've shown you that before. All right, another Halloween item that I splurged on was this $5 set of Halloween taper candles and they bleed. That's what it says. It says um, 12 inch bleeding tapers. So I'm quite excited to see what that looks like. All right. Um, more stickers that I thought could go for junk journaling. And they're still coming out with all kinds of different uh, decorations. This one, it, it stands up, but I'm not gonna use it for that. I'm gonna take it off of this little post down here. And I'm probably gonna paint this outside and it's going to go on the cover of one of the junk journals. I think it'll be the Halloween junk journals. I think it'll be quite special. 
and I could add in some glitter and I could add in some different textures and I think that'll be fun. All right, gonna put that on the side there. This I purchased for my daughter for the restaurant that she works at. They were looking for Halloween pot holders that they could use to serve food next month. And so um, there's Happy Halloween. There's Trick or Treating with my Nomies. There's Trick or Treat pumpkin truck kind of thing. And then there were skeleton hands. And I thought those were kind of cute. All right. So that is for Parish Grill <laughs> to use when they deliver food. This I hadn't seen. This was new to me. And it's a window cling for your car. I thought the Grands would really like decorating my car with it. It's just one cling. It's eight inches, it says. Yep, eight by eight. All right, so I thought that was kind of cute. Another thing I saw, a friend of mine purchased it. I had no use for it, and I don't. I try not to purchase unless I have somebody to give it to or something to do with it, uh, was the Trunk or Treat Decorating Kit. It was $5, and if you are someone who participates in Trunk or Treat with your children, it might be a great starting point for decorating your car. I have not seen them since Susanna, Suzanne and I were shopping a couple of weeks ago and she purchased it. And um, so either they went really fast or they're coming back out again. The other thing I love at Halloween or any kind of holiday time are these themed sticker books. This one's Barbie. It's for the two older granddaughters. And so they can decorate, they can, with the stickers. Where are the stickers? stickers are in here. They're in the middle. There they are. They can decorate. They can do the puzzles. I think it'll be fun. And then we have younger ones. So I did get some coloring books. And unfortunately, they're all color activity books. I really have really young ones that I would have liked just plain old jumbo pictures, but that's okay. And then the other sticker books were Princess, Spooky Princess, and here's another spooky princess. Now, I will tell you that these stickers are tiny. So they are hard for my babies to deal with. And I do have a suggestion for you. If you're doing this with your children, take, and it takes you a minute to find, there it is right there, find the backing. Take, ooh, don't take the eyebrow with it. Take the stickers, the backing of the sticker off put that back and leave just the stickers on the page now it's tedious because this is a page of a lot of little pieces but if you do that it's easier for the kids to peel off well that does not want to stay so we're gonna stick that right back um and so it is easier for them to peel off of i would do it beforehand if you're gonna do it there you go all right, and then there are some sticker face, spooky sticker faces for different Halloween pieces. And these are a little bit bigger, a little bit, a little bit bigger. Great language. You can talk about what does your cat need? He needs some eyes. What color eyes? Yellow eyes, green eyes. Um, does he need a hat? All kinds of great language in here. And there's a mummy. All right. Okay, so there's the sticker books. Let me put those on the side. Let me see if I was able to get all of the Halloween. Oh, I have one more Halloween. Stay up there, don't fall. All right, I, I love these pumpkin decorating kits. They have many different styles. I bought three to give to each family. They come with this little post here. I have one open right here. It's falling out everywhere. So they have a little post on the back and you can poke it into either a real pumpkin or a styrofoam pumpkin. Up to you. So there's that one. Put that one back in here. Uh, I would put, I would make a little knife split in a real pumpkin 
so that the post doesn't break. But what a great way to decorate a pumpkin. This just saves some time because you can put this in a real pumpkin ahead of time and the pumpkin is not going to completely dissolve on you. All right, let's see, I'm trying to, here was the other pumpkin set. All right, now to move on to more fall type things that I purchased. Um, of course they have decorations everywhere. All of these wooden decorations that are all glittery and everything. Well, I like to take these to decorate this board that I made. Uh, it doesn't hang up in my house. It just sits on my buffet up against the wall. And I Velcro different holiday themed plaques right here. And I get my holiday themed plaques from these decorations because let's not reinvent the wheel. This looks really cute. This will be great for fall. So I'll put a piece of Velcro on the back and there you go. Now the other thing that this would be something like that is really great to, to do is decorate these door hangers. So these are hangers that go on your door. That goes on the door part and it hangs down. You can hang a wreath from it. I have seen at Dollar Tree lately, they are taking these and they are selling them already with a decoration like right there. And then your wreath is down, down in this area. And you can do that yourself. Just glue it on and look how cute that is. Or if you had a neutral type color, you could Velcro it on and change it out. Like um, on my front door, my front door is red and I absolutely hate that red. Um, so I have a red wreath holder on that door to blend in. So I could do something with that where, oh, here's another one. Did I show you this one already? Oh yeah, I moved things around. Okay. All right, and we showed you that, and I showed you that, and I showed you the popcorn. All right, this was another thing. Fall stuff coming out more and more. Um, little jars. Let's take this off little jars and look how cute with this little metal leaf on it it's going to go on my fall tier tray that i have decorated right now in about a week and a half to two way about a week and a half once we start october i'll take off the fall stuff and i'll put on halloween stuff and then when halloween is over i will put some of these fall things back on and some like give thanks thanksgiving kind of things now this was a candle, it was an acorn, it was in a pretty little gift bag. I took it out to show it. So uh, I thought that would be good, different colors to go on that fall tear tray. And this is amazing. I'm so excited, look at this. <gasps> Light up jars, is that not the greatest thing? Look, I have never seen these before at Dollar Tree. The, uh, the lights are connected to the seal, the little cork, fake cork seal. And it's not solar powered, it is battery powered. And so there's an on off. But isn't this adorable? I mean, think of all the cool things that we could do with that. I mean, just if you wanted, you could leave it just like it is. You could put an a Halloween label kind of thing on it, and what a great decoration for that too. I don't even know what I wanna do with them yet. I just think they were so cool. I've never seen these before at Dollar Tree. This was a first for me, so I was really happy to find those. Oh, we're gonna leave the lights on. We'll leave them on pretty right there. All right, so let's see. I think I got through all of the fall stuff. Now, Let's look at some of the items that might come in handy for gift giving season. Okay, in a few weeks, I am off to Disney. I go to, to Orlando a couple times a year. It's my fun place. I like Universal and I like Disney, but I happen to be going to Disney for the wine and dine race. And I'm going with a couple of friends. And while I was at Dollar Tree, I always have a little goodie for my friends 
that I do the races with. So I will make them a towel, like a sweat towel with some vinyl on it for the season and the date. And I showed this in another video and I think this is amazing. It is a Band-Aid holder, like bandage holder. It has a little claw clip so you can put it on your backpack or your purse. For those of us that go to the theme parks or the regular sports parks or the regular parks or any place that you go, and it doesn't even have to be a place that you have kids, that you may need Band-Aids. And there, these, this case keeps them all nice and neat. Isn't that amazing? Well, now, this is an item that's a one and done kind of thing. They're on the way out. So I went to all of the Dollar Trees, I guess about a week ago, and I was able to get enough of these for all of my grown children so that they have them for their backpacks with the kids and for my racing friends. And what I might do is take out half the Band-Aids and put like a, a race survival kit. So there might be a propel packet for their water or two or and a ponytail holder I, you know just simple things like that that would fit in here and make a nice little case your band-aids won't get lost i bring band-aids to the theme parks with me all the time and i give them out all the time people's shoes slip it rains you get blisters people are always needing band-aids and not when you're expecting it so I was really excited to find these and I thought I would put their names on it and maybe wine and dine and the date or whatever. But then I ran across these too. And these are, let's see, if I, yep, there we go. These are the silicone travel straws. Now, if you're somebody who does go places that the straws are now paper, and they disintegrate before you actually finish your drink, this is a game changer. It even has a little cleaning thing. Um, I even thought you could probably combine the Band-Aids in here too. This didn't have a clip on it, it just had a circle. Um, I don't know, but I seem to think that, so this was another thing, I ended up buying one for everybody that was going to be with me because it's a great little stocking stuffer at Christmas time or a friend gift at Christmas time or at the race time. These are just, these were just unique and useful. Great stocking stuffers. We're going to call everything stocking stuffers, but they don't necessarily have to go in a stocking. All right, now. We all know that Dollar Tree has uh, like contact paper. It's supposed to be, it's like a faux wallpaper. And you know, they have a wood grain and they have some her herringbone. But I saw this. I've not seen designs like this. This was really pretty. It's the wallpaper. So it's peel and stick. It's removable. People have talked about they use it for decorating, highlighting different areas. Also in apartments, it's a great thing to use in apartments because you can peel it back off. But I make junk journals. And so I was thinking this is so pretty that this might be the cover of one of my junk journals. I just loved it. Or it might be part of a craft. I don't know yet. I just like it and I know that it's gonna be part of, a, of something I do. All right, so the other thing that's out, oh, well, here, this is, in addition to those wallpapers, they also have these uh, tiles, tile decals. Look how pretty this is. Now, I can't pay $1.25 a tile for something that's peel and stick, but, and my dog wanting to come in and see y'all, but I'm thinking if I use this as the cover of a junk journal, you know, it could be front and back and then have some material or something. That's, I don't know. There's something that we can do with this. This is, it, I just, it appealed to me. The foil, the shiny foil really appealed to me. 
Okay, so this is another thing that's out right now are the 2024 16 month calendars. Lots of great styles. There's a few of them, a couple of styles I'm looking at because I think that the pictures in the calendar would make great art pieces in a house. Sorry, needed a drink there. All right, so, but I grabbed these. They had Peppa Pig and they had the Sesame Street because I think back in the day when I worked in the school system, I used to take these books and we used to make picture books for the kids with them. It's something that is high interest. You know, we love Peppa Pig. It's a great language activity where you can talk about what is Peppa doing, what's what's Peppa holding, what's Peppa, what where's Peppa going. Same thing with Sesame Street. I don't think kids are as into Sesame Street as they were when. I was little or my children were little, but you can still talk about the things on there. They make great language activities. So I actually think both of these books are going to be an activity or craft that we do where we take them out and we repurpose them to make some sort of, of talking book for kids. So that's, that's why I got the children's version of those. All right, this was another thing I found and I really liked. Okay, so the big box, let me pull you back. The big box was $1.25 and then there's two more boxes. And I was able to find um, the same pattern. And I think it actually does come in one more bigger size, but there was only one, it didn't match. And I, I could have gone with all nothing matching. That would have been okay. So I have an idea for a craft to use with these nesting up boxes that I think will be fun. I have to kind of work it out a little bit. It's not one I can maybe do on the fly with you. I think I really have to plan it, but I'll work on that in a minute. Okay. The other thing to pick up when you're at Dollar Tree is these Jenga or these Jenga blocks. These, they're tinier than regular Jenga, but you can use these wooden blocks in all kinds of crafts. Um, we maybe might make some Christmas trees with them this year. I don't know yet, we'll see. Uh, I made some maybe year, last year or year before and they were really cute. The other thing I saw was a large mirror. Just the mirror part is approximately eight inches in diameter. Um, to find a large mirror, and it's only a dollar twenty-five, and it can be used in any kind of craft, is is a steel. So I bought one as a future craft for us. The other thing I pick up, and I think I talked about this in another video, but I'm not sure, was different flavored coffees. Uh, coffee gift baskets are a hot thing in my family. Last video, I showed you some sugar-free syrups that I found. I have not found any more. I grab them when I find them because they come and go very quickly. So you either have a ton or you have none. So this, I mean, what a great gift basket to put all of these different items in that are all coffee themed with a couple of handmade mugs, decorated mugs. It, it makes a great gift. And then this was Harry and David. So I thought that that was a great idea because it was a name brand. So, um, and it is good until next summer. So it had not expired. Didn't think about that until I just turned it over. All right, guys, I think that's it. So now you see why I didn't split this all up into um, different videos. So there was my there was my Dollar Tree haul for today. Today is September. I don't know, September twentieth. I think tomorrow's the first day of fall. So you'll see this video on Saturday. Plenty of time to get to your Dollar Tree. Anything good at your Dollar Tree that, you know, I have never showed you, I would really like to know. 
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget that like, that share, and the subscribe. I would so appreciate it. Y'all have a great day. Bye.